It's a sad thing that we don't have them. Good drinking of water. Another day for Jackson residents lined up more than an hour early, hoping to get some bottled water from the city. Some say this has gotten old. I've been here for about an hour and I have to wait until two o'clock to get a little water. The problem building for restaurants that are pouring more money into bagged ice and bottled water. At Roosters, the price tag is adding up, starting with food prep. We have to use bottled water. For everything? For everything. Nathan Glenn at Basils and Fondren says the daily expenses average between 500 and 700 more dollars a day, and that's just dealing with the water dilemma. Everything's so expensive and you don't want to overcharge what the customers are able to pay. But that's kind of where we're almost getting to is you're just, you know, with the inflation and the base cost of chicken, oil, even mayonnaise, you know, mayonnaise is tripled. The Jackson mayor says sometimes it's just one sample site of 120 tested regularly that are failing because of cloudy conditions in the samples. Not necessarily the same location, but it is one out of 120 uh, samples that are pulled across the city. But that is still a fail, according to the state health department. Two down pumps at the OB Curtis water treatment plant are still in repair. That continues to impact water pressure. But the mayor says there is hope about soon lifting that boil water notice. Hopefully we see an end of the boil water notice this particular week.